Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Num Thumbs Gaming Channel. My name is Daniel, hope you're all doing well, hope you're all safe. Welcome to a, a new adventure on the channel, uh, Football Manager. Uh, we're back here, I used to play this game a lot, I haven't picked it up too much, too much uh, in the last couple of years, but uh, I'm hoping to have a bit of a save here, as I know all the games I'm starting to play here towards the end of their cycle. But anyway, this is something different on the channel. Um, for a bit of a challenge that I've set for myself. Um, as we can see, we've taken the Tottenham job. It's going to be a director of football challenge. So, which I've never done before. If you don't know what that is, basically all I do is set the tactics. Um, the director of football buys and sells players. Um, I can do training and stuff. Um, but ba basically all we are is the manager. So it's kind of like real life, right? Well, we'll except we have absolutely no say in what goes in. And onto the pitch. So, um, yeah, this is it. Um, top number five, 32 year old me, um, Daniel Thumbs. We've got a three year deal with play, replaced Jose Mourinho. Jose is gone, another manager is gone. Um, Thumbs lacks the reputation of a title specialist. <laughs> it's a bit of a backhander. Given the current, the club's current ambitions creates an intriguing dynamic as they are linked to the challenge for major honors. So, basically, we haven't won trophy. And that's what we want to do. And we're not going to have any say. In who we buy, who we sell. So Harry Kane could be gone in the first season. We don't know. We don't know. Um, I skipped past something there on accident. Can we go back? We can. Um, so I'd like to formally welcome you to Tottenham to get you acquainted to your new surroundings. You'll receive an introductory welcome pack. Always good. Feels like I've started just a, a general job um, before going on to finalize the vision and objectives to proceed together with congratulations and welcome aboard to the media uh, predicting we're going to finish sixth um so steve hitchin he'll be making uh all the ins and all the outs of the club uh last season we finished six we were oh sorry upcoming no last season yeah sixth um we're we we do not have champions league we have qualifying for the Euro europa league um we have the new stadium of course um, and hopefully we can have some success. Hopefully we can bring home some silverware for the fans. That's our best recommended lineup. Uh, Kane at the top there. And um, a lot of the regular faces around the club. Um, of course, um, we can't buy or sell anybody. Um, we've got Gareth Bale coming in on loan. We'll see if we can utilize him to score us. Or set up us some goals. Um, our club vision here, we've got to play attacking football, sign players under the age of 22, play possession football, develop players from the youth system. See, I was considering just a youth system challenge, but I think that would be more suited to like a Liverpool, a team that's already, you know, top tier, Liverpool or Manchester City, Manchester United in this game. Um, don't sign players over the age of 30, play entertaining football. Well, that's in the eye of the polder, isn't it? Five-year plan, maximum two-year contracts for players over 30. Work within the wage budget. And uh, end of the current season, we want to get um, Champions League, FA Cup semi-final, Euro Cup semi-final, and the Carabao Cup they do not care about. And they want us to challenge for the title in the next season. So the director of football, he's got a lot of bloody work to do. So to the finances, not that we have any say in the expenditure. We don't have much of a transfer budget. That's that's kind of clear as crystal there. We've got $13 million to spend. All Overall, though, we do have a lot of money in the bank. we are uh, got a bit to spend in wage budget. So if the di di director of football does sell or buy anyone in this window, you know, there's a little bit of uh, a room to play with there. All right, so to the tactic. Sorry, I just had to fix something up with the green screen. It's still I iffing me, but we'll fix that up hopefully in in between now and the next episode. This is going to be the formation. It's going to be 4 2 3 one wide. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, as I said earlier, I haven't played the game much for the last two or so editions of FM. Um, so we're just going to go with pr pretty much our best 11 that we can go with. And um, we'll change things up as uh, we see fit during a match. But that's probably going to be our formation. Either of these two tactics. And we'll see how those are treating us in the preseason, and we might change things uh, come the opening game of the season. And to our first press conference, here we are with all the uh, all the media here to watch us in our first press conference. Can you share some thoughts on what it means for you to be the manager of Tottenham? Uh, I base everything on hard work, and I look forward to rolling up the sleeves. 
Many people think that Tottenham's wage budget is simply too small for you to bring a high quality of players in. Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to talk about club finances. Let's just handball that one. Uh, why Tottenham? What was the allure of coming here? A challenge that we haven't won a goddamn trophy in forever. Managing any team is a privilege. Did you ever doubt that this was the right job for you? Uh, not from my perspective. I've been given the keys to the club by the board and I need to repay the trust. It's a good answer. I like that one. It's on the fence, but it's a good answer. The facilities at the club are fantastic. Well, they should be. We're in a new, a brand new stadium. Uh, are you excited about the opportunity to work in such an environment? Actually, I would have expected a little bit better from the club. Just walk in and be a complete jerk. Absolutely delighted. They're brand new. Well, you know, my, your playing career was a huge success at this sort of level, but management is a new challenge for you. Do you think your experience will transition, hate the transition at all? I believe it will. What do you think of the Tottenham squad? No shit, it's trash. It's, we're rubbish. <laughs> To the squad for the opening day's fixture. Nothing out of the ordinary. We're going to go with this 4 2 3 1. Kane leading the charge. Hopefully, he can nab us some goals. We'll submit that team and uh, get ready to go. Apologies for the, the green screen. There was some, uh, some uh, fixing I had to do. It was working fine, and then all of a sudden, it, it wasn't. So, anyway. Um, <clears throat> Um, first team talk, we're going to point our fingers and, uh, tell the lads to wear favorites and we should win comfortably. Let's just make sure we're on extended highlights and we should be good to go because pre-season first highlight here, Lamella into sun. It's over the bar. First shot on target for the season. Well, our first shot, <laughs> maybe not on target. Our first shot, nonetheless. I'm going to go a bit attacking because um, we're at home. It's against Sheffield United where we should be beating them pretty comfortably, right? This should be a win. Lamella, ball in. Goes back to Doherty. Doherty hits Norwood. Dali Alley. Oh, it's tipped over the bar and we'll have our another corner. Sun to take it. Brighton leading. I'll show Lamella to take it. Brighton have scored against Burnley. So a nice three points here would be good. Get ourselves off to a good start for the year. Mella here with the ball. Can we build an attack? Can we get a score in our first goal of the season? Here's Lamella through the middle now. Still with Lamella. Goes out wide to big surge. Sun there. Can he get across into Kane? He gets a little pass that's blocked. Lamella back to surge. Surge is going to have a shot here. I feel it. Sun goes back to Sissoko. Shot was blocked. And we will build again, hopefully. Still nil, nil. 25th minute. Doherty into Lamella. Alley. Or a good save from Ramsdale. It's a quality save. I'm still going to demand more because I want to be putting the pressure on um, Sheffield United. I want a comfortable win to start the season. Harry Kane's injured. He was off injured there for a moment. That was a, that's a bit of a concern. Does he get the ball here? He does. Was it a tactic? We'll never know. It's 1-0. Harry Kane has sneakily come off the sidelines. If you don't mind. And he's put a goal in the back of the net. Look at this. The old sneaky sneak. Yep, yeah, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. He's coming and gone bang. And he's gone top bins. That's 1-0 to Spurs. So, it's looking good. It's looking good for us. Surge to Sun. To Sissoko. Ball in. It's, it clatters around a bit in the box, but it's cleared away. But maybe only temporarily. As Sissoko decides to just walk out of bounds. Was there an entry? Was there an offside? I missed that thing about Kane. But Ali scored. Another set-piece goal. Another set piece goal. It looks like Harry Kane has done a hamstring. We'll we'll sub him at half time. <clears throat> if we're two nil up, I think we can get him subbed at half time. That's a good goal. Not much the keeper could do there. Half time, it's Spurs two, Sheffield United nil. 
I'm going to point the fingers again and say, um, I'm very happy with how things are going, lads. Keep it up. Something like that, second half and away. I am going to demand more because I want that third goal. I want that three goal cushion. We're, we're cruising. We're cruising at 2 0. Sheffield United haven't had a highlight yet. That's how, how well we're going. I haven't had a shot on target. They have, however, had a yellow card to Oliver Norwood. So, you know. Baldock with a throw here. 55th minute. Sun says, I'll have that. Thank you. We still haven't subbed off Harry Kane. Which is a worry, son. Does it de uh, deflect? It does, but it goes way, way out. I might actually take Harry Kane off and switch back to being a l just a little positive. Uh, I'm going to bring on Carlos as well. We'll take Kane off. He did score in the 31st minute. He did break the deadlock with that sneaky, sneaky little uh, run in off the bench. Off the sidelines. Anyway, McBurney here for United. Passes backwards, a big long through ball, but it's cut off by Doherty. And we'll go back to the keeper and start to build another attack. Hopefully the highlight is still going. Lamella here, Deli Alley. Doherty. Good ball. He's going to go back to Doherty. Doherty's going to get a cross in. Carlos is there. Counters a big calamity. Everyone's fallen over. Referee says play on. Suzoko. Big Surge. Goes back to Suzoko. Gives it back to Surge and it's just headed away. It's going to go out. But we're slowly working to something as Surge tries to run down the side. Gets a cross in but it's deflected away. Suzoko will go and mop it up. Go back to Hoiberg. Doherty. Lamella. Doherty. And that is going to be a... Corner? The throw. It's going to be throw. Hit the, hit the corner post. Mop it up. Ten minutes to go. What can we produce? Son, is he onside? Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm going to praise the lads now. I think, I think they've earned it. 3-0. What a good beast of play this was from the back. Sheffield United bombed it out of their, their defense. And uh, just to no avail and under the little easy chip in there to make it 3-0. Dying moments of the game now. Ali, back to Doherty. That's going to be it, I think. Might be the last highlight. Might be a late goal, maybe. Doherty. Ball in. Sun's there. No score. Headed away. 30 seconds to go. Highlight still continues on. The sun does Suzuko into big surge. Cross in. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. Dyer to Doherty. Carlos. No, not there. It's too long. And it goes straight to the United keeper. And he'll head it away. And that's it. Final whistle. Up the boys. 3 0. Good start to the season. The perfect start to the season, really. It'll just be a, um, I'm going to point fingers again and say, well done, lads. That was a good win for us. We're turning into the Wiggles. Harry Kane injured. He's out for eight to ten days. That's okay. We'll leave him to the physio. Uh, that was Doherty's first game for the club. Uh, we'll we'll praise, praise the last game and Lamella was on form. We'll praise him as well. The squad for the second game of the season. I must also point out, I've, as you may have noticed earlier in the video, I was fighting with the green screen a little bit. Um, I've just uh, tried to fix the lighting a bit, so I've cut it out for this this game of this episode. But hopefully, we can fix it um, coming on forward for future episodes. Uh, otherwise, we'll just we'll sort that out. Um, so we made a few changes to the squad from opening day. Uh, Harry Kane is obviously with that injury risk is not going to play. We put Moira. Up front, Gareth Bale didn't get a run in the first game either. Uh, Harry Winks, a young kid, Penner here, is going to get a start as well. And uh, we've made a few defensive changes and Hart is in goal. Let's get to the cup match. Should be winning this one fairly comfortably. It's against a pretty well unknown team against Iceland. His son has gone down the box. Uh, referee says nothing doing. It's going to be a goal kick. And that was our first real break of the game in the opening moments. And nothing doing. 
So yeah, I'm hoping to have the uh, green screen sorted or some sort of, I want to get the camera back. Um, just, uh, it was, it's easier at this point to, re to finish recording this episode. Um, as is, as we've got Dally Alley here in the box, it's taken a deflection and cleared away. And he boats along. Highlight's still going here. It's been a long one. Alley. Here we go. A big surge. Ball into Sun. Sun's on side. It's a goal. It's offside. My arms were up in the air, viewers. My arms were up in the air. No goal. It's disallowed. Yeah. Offside. <clears throat> There was a disallowed goal that was the thing. So shadows of half time. Are we a chance to put a goal on the board right on the siren? No. As we're shooting wide again. That's a constant problem. It's pouring rain. It's nil nil. It's pretty, been a pretty dire game to end this episode so far. I am going to point the fingers and say I am not happy. Turned it over. He might win it back. No, he doesn't. Peta comes in and says, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Alley to Bale. Now's Bale's cross. He gets around his defender, squares it up. Chance for a goal, cleared away comfortably. You boys played uh, the opening fixture game and his heart makes the save. It was a fairly vicious shot. He's gone out for a corner. We're still demanding more. Corner here for the Vikings. Ball in. Away it goes. Goal kick. Bale. I'm mm, not sure what that was as I look to the web camera that is not turned on. Score remains nil nil. Throw here for us. Dali Alley. Ball back. Exerge. Bale's there. Lurking good save. Still going to demand more from the boys. Ball thrown in. Headed away. Petter is there. Been uh, not too bad. He's got a 7.0 rating for his first game. I think he's only 18 years old. Back to Hart. Back to Petter. Ali. Something might be brewing here, viewers. Maybe. But you get to this position all the time and uh, just haven't been able to break the damn wall here. Is Doherty. Can he get a pass on? He does bail. Does he shoot? He does. It's blocked. The calamity in the in the box. But it's cleared away comfortably. And we're going to have to make some sort of change. I'm going to go with the two up the top. Uh, who else? He's a little spent. Bales. It's his first game. I'm going to keep him on. I'm going to make him a winger on attack. We might make Sun a winger on attack. We've got to be more aggressive. Uh, and Lo Celso will bring on as well for Harry Winks. Um, tell the boys we're looking forward to making the difference. Still going to demand more. We need that goal. We've had 11 shots to four. Make that 12. Still haven't scored. Good ball. Carlos is in behind. Can he finish? You betcha he can. Carlos puts it into the back of the net. Something from nothing, viewers. That's his first goal for the club. And uh, finally, we could not have to demand more. That was a... Beautiful build-up from the back, actually. And a good long ball. Found Sun. You got the little nod on towards Carlos. And uh, just manages to squeeze it. Keep it went the right way. Just didn't time his dive. Goal. Anyway, dying moments of the game. Last six and a half minutes. Bale's there. Can he get to it? No. Vikery uh, building from the back here. Surge cuts it out, Lamella. Come on, Carlos. Get to it, son. Doherty. Ball in, Petter. Can he score? It's over the bar. It was a good effort, lad. Five minutes to go, Hansen. Can uh, the Vikings going to have something up their sleeve to score here? They might. They do. Oh, my word. Phew. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. A late twist in the match, potentially, as we're all just lost at sea here. Look at this. Hansen makes the run. Nice little chip into his uh, forward there, and it's 1-1 in the 86th minute. If you don't mind. 
Lo Celso, Petta, Bale, Lucas, oh, Keeper couldn't save it, but he does juggle it in the end. And there's 1-1, one, one. we are going to extra time. Um, I'm going to thrash arms and tell the lads that, that this has been rubbish. The man, well, I'm still going to go attacking though, because I'd rather go and chase the win rather than, you know, if we don't want penalties. I don't want penalties. Is this going to be a red card? No, it's a yellow. Looked a pretty dangerous tackle. And we'll have a free kick. Are we close enough to do some damage? Lamella ball in, headed out comfortably though. We might win it back here. We might not. Doherty's going to go and chase it. Hanson's chasing the ball down. He's going to have to go back to the keeper and start something back from defence. Big long ball over the top of the centre. Nothing doing. Highlight still going. Intercepted by Petter. Petter goes to Lamella. Lamella now. Can he get a through ball into Moira? Moira's blocked. Shots blocked. And still 90 odd minutes gone. Attack here for the Vikings. Ball on the wing. Can he cross it in? Can't do it. Dealt with. But it's going to be a corner. Still an attack. Still problems to deal with at this point. Well, he's going to whip the ball in. Get it away. Here we go. Is this a counter-attack goal? Is this a counter-attack goal? No, apparently not. Have a corner here. Lamella. Ball in. Get it away. Disappointing from set pieces for us today. Highlight still going, which is a worry, but we've won it. Going to have to build here from defence, Sanchez. What's he do? He decides to go all the way back to Hart. Mind you, we're on attacking Lamella now in the centre of the pitch. Somehow got a pass off to Carlos. No one up forward to go to. No options here. He's going to have to keep running, and he does, and it's a goal kick. Many times a good time to set up a good set piece. Now is it, and it wasn't. It wasn't to be. it. he's got the ball. Can he find a teammate? Petter on debut. Gets it back. Lucas Lamella. Carlos. The Mallow's through. The Mallow, oh, I missed it. How do you miss that? Oh, it's offside. I thought they'd scored there. The flag went straight up, though. We'll watch the replay. He's well off. Dying moments, last five minutes of extra time before we go to penalties, the dreaded penalties. Petter. Lamella. It's a brilliant ball. Lucas is there and it's onside. It's a goal. Get in. Come on. Get in. It's 2-1 Spurs. Late, late drama here in the Europa League qualifiers. What a ball that was from Lamello. What a run that was from Lucas. Puts it away. That's 2 1. We are just going to go all sorts of. We're just going to go all sorts of defensive now, just with standard everything. Uh, we're going to slow the pace down. We're going to take long kicks. Uh, we're going to time ways. We're going to go with the lower tempos. More direct passing. We are just going to park the bus to some degree. Here is Lamella. Can he make it three? Just to sweeten the... Just to put the icing on the cake. It's been a pretty nervously built cake though. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, we've got a corner. A minute and a half plus extra time to go. Lamella's corner. We've been disappointing from set pieces. Particularly corners in this one and that's no upset. No difference there. Last highlight of the game, and it looks like it's a highlight for the Vikings. Ball in. Headed away, boys. We've done it. Referee. Whistle goes. The whistle goes and Spurs 2, Vikings 1. Somehow we've gotten ourselves out. We almost FM'd, it, FM'd ourselves. Uh, 25 shots to 7. Unbelievable um, that we had to go to extra time. Um... I'm going to point the fingers and say we did get away with that one because we absolutely did um, somehow pull our fingers out to score a second goal there. 
And so that's not our Euro qualifiers done yet. We do have another one against, I guess this is a Greek side, the, the Lee path third qualifying. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's um, something to look forward to. We are progressing though, which is it's just definitely going to keep the, keep the board happy. Um, we're going to wrap that episode up there though. Thank you for watching. We will pick up uh, with the Man United and Newcastle game. That'll be the next episode and then we'll progress through. Uh, so thanks for watching. Apologize um, for losing video for the second um, game of this episode. And also for any names I've butchered in pronunciation. I will get better at that, I promise. Uh, my name is Daniel. Thank you for watching the Nun Thumbs Gaming channel. We will see you very, very soon with some more Football Manager. Until then, stay safe and we'll see you in the next episode.